hey guys welcome back to another video and today we are gonna be discussing about the first search so from the name you can guess that it's like a searching algorithm so we'd be looking at the simulation and uh, the algorithm of DFS but first uh, what is DFS so so DFS is like an algorithm that helps you to find certain goal states or nodes by digging deep into like the branches so let's say this is your tree and this these are your branches so what depth first search de does is it looks into the branches first rather than like the breadth so uh, it in cases it might be really fast uh, depending on where the goal is uh, so it can be done both for directed and undirected graphs so uh, we have a problem here and uh, let's say they tell us to f find a certain node or uh, tell us to like show path to different nodes how can we reach them right so dfs follows the stack data structure so if you remember stack follows lefo meaning last in first out So uh, let's get into it. Let's see how this thing works. So this is your starting node, right? This is where all everything starts. So you start from zero, you go to one. So make one visited. So we put one in the st uh, zero in the stack, then one in the stack. Then we go to two from one and mark two as visited and put it in the stack. So uh, let's move on now from two we can have like go in two directions either in three or in five so uh, let's say we go in three to like follow the sequence so we go to three from here and mark three as visited okay so from three we can go to two places but as we are following a sequence here so we are going to 4 now and mark 4 as visited so we, we put that in the stack then we go to 6 because it's like the only way we can go so we put 6 in the stack right so now from 6 we can't go anywhere else right so there aren't any other branches so we have to either go back to 3 or go back to 4 so 4 is where we came from and uh, 3 is already in the stack so we can go back to 3 so we are going back to 4 so we are going back to 4 so we are gonna uh, pop 6 from the stack so from 4 we can see that uh, there aren't any other edges that we can traverse or any other nodes that we can go to so we go back from 4 to 3 so we have to pop 4 and we go to 3 again so from 3 we have two ways either we can go back to 2 or go back to 6 so 6 is already visited and 2 is already visited so we go back to 2 again and pop 3 from the stack now from 2 we can go to two places uh, 5 and 3 so we came back from three, 3 so there's no point in going back there so we are gonna go to 5 so we go to 5 and we mark it as visited now we put that in the array now from 5 we have only one way to go so it's 7 so we go to 7 and mark that visited so now uh, are there any other arrays uh, any other nodes that we can go to no so we go back to 5 uh, go back to 5 so we pop 7 we go back to 2 because we don't have any other edges from 5 so we pop 5 and from 2 we don't have any other edges to go so go back to 1 we pop 1 oh sorry we pop 2 then from 1 we don't have any other place to go so we pop 1 and go to 0 
and from 0 we don't have any other place to go so we pop 0 so so our sequence would look like this so now our task is to find uh, the starting and end time so let's look into that first so uh, 0 was our starting node right so we put 0 here and slash something so uh, the pattern is it's the starting time and this would be the end time so 0 is our starting time so from 0 we go to 1 so we put 1 here from 2 we put two, th 2 here we go to 3 then so 3 4 here so from 4 we go to 6 so that's like 5 and from 6 we can't go to anywhere else right so this is like the last node we can visit from 6 so the end time for 6 is 6 and similarly for 4 we can't go anywhere else so the end time of 4 is 7 so the end time of 3 is 8 we go back to 2 again from 2 we can go to other uh, nodes so this would be 9 and from 5 we can go to 7 so this would be 10 so from 7 we can't go to anywhere else right so we the end time of 7 would be 11 and for 5 that would be 12 from 2 that would be 13 and 0 would have 14 because it's, it's the last node that we are popping off the stack from the stack so uh, this would have like the highest amount of time that it's in the stack So that's about it from DFS. So hope you guys did understand the simulation on how it works later on on another video I'll be discussing about how the algorithm works. So hope you guys did like the video and uh, If you have any comments or suggestions feel free to comment down below and uh, Thanks for watching